Hello, my dears, it's me, Kirisaki Jackie, and welcome back to Sally Face. Now the only thing left for is to go into the hole. I think on the last episode we figured out how to open the box, we talked to Larry, we figured out a bunch of things. I believe I have played all of it except chapter 7. Yeah, only chapter 7 is locked. But I did look everywhere for the chapter 7 and uh, as I mentioned before I was looking to a walkthrough to solve that problem because I wanted to do it. But it will be after the hole, so uh, that's it. Let's go. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Let's go in. But what room is this? Is this maybe the... Is this maybe the apartment fi 503 that was locked before? Oh, there's a noose. There is a noose. Why is it a point of no return? Oh, I cannot interact with it anymore. Okay, so I uh, will shift. And then there's a noose, so I suppose that's the thing that I have to do. Hello? Oh, chapter 7 is on. Nice. Are you forcing me to play it? In a moment, he found himself somewhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what must be done. Voice. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Oh my god, you're too fast. Oh, you're too fast. I'm going to die. I hate this. Ugh. Oh, I need to press the button. Ah, that's fucking dangerous. Okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, again! The child will only slow us down. She'll never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. That's why you killed them both? I don't like how fast you are. You're dangerously fast. Okay. Because we all know that he did kill his wife and his child. Walk with me into the undying flame and our power shall be endless. What undying flame are you talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, button. And the flame. I walk directly into it. Ah. <laughs> Luke, can you hear me? I don't think he can. Luke? Oh my god. I think Luke gave his soul to the demon of this apartment. Oh, hey, Larry. What the hell just happened? Dodd gave me one of his inventions. He said that, theoretically, it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So the red eye creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even bored. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Edson apartment has such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, she's nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd Stingy seems like it took care of it, but did it? Oh. What is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, does that mean that my dad, he, he just... Oh, Larry! Don't cry, man! Oh, Larry, I'm so sorry. I don't think your dad abandoned you, though, or just left. Maybe he died? Maybe he died in the lake? I'm sorry, Sal. That's our first time for today. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. 
Wait, that was only part of the story. Yeah, there's so much more. I had hoped to get some heart, some honest insight from you today. Especially with this being our last session and your trial is just in a few days. I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, these things don't exist. You weren't there to live it, were you? You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence is against you for what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse. Please, just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. Are we playing as the doctor now? Are we going to the treehouse as the doctor? What the fucking cycle, eh? I don't know. The doctor seemed to have some sort of belief in him. Oh, he is going to the treehouse. Because I know that there's like five episodes. Oh, the building is completely closed. I am playing as the doctor. Well, that was a bit unexpected. Damn, the whole place is abandoned. Well, it looked like it passed like several years because Sally looks and like Sally is an adult now. I wonder what he's gonna find in there. That's sad. That's really sad to see. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it though. Yeah, indeed. Oh, there's boxes. They're filled with clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Yeah, but there's that. Shells, rusty twos and all the various junk. Floor. A few old amateur paintings. Probably Larry's. Ugh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just needed to see for myself. Sal so was so convincing. This whole thing was in off. Larry? Dr. Aiden? Oh, oh, oh. Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please. Does that mean that Larry is dead? You have to get Sal here. You, you, you can't be... Calm down, dude. You could have give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... He fell off the tree. Bro. Shit. Larry died? Oh my god, the doctor died too. Oh, fuck no. Um... The fuck what? Was he basically killed? I don't think a fall like that would make that much damage. Like maybe he would get hurt and pass out, but not, not like that. Even if he is a, even if he is an old man. Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room. Find me in the. Find me in the white room. Don't forget what I told you. What did you tell me? I barely understand what you say. Where do I even start? Uh, don't... No, do not be... Something. You are... F here. You are safe here. Sal. Sal? You're safe here, Sal. 
but you you must not speak of this place to others okay not even to my psychotherapist or something the only one who believed you is dead now what should I do run huh run 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 oh my god I'm running pull ever all oh, too late eh? okay that's confusing what am I supposed to do about this That's a door. Enter. Sure. There used to be a door here. I mean, I guess there still is because I got in, right? Claire Nettles, is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. He looks a little bit uh, not good I've got nothing to hide can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man are you sticking with the story you've told the police I will share the truth are you saying your original story wasn't truth I mean I don't know I have no comment on that can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? Wasn't it a dog? I thought it was a dog. I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be the news to me. That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest poll polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you were granted special meal privileges because you were afraid of Bologna? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just... well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. <sighs> Alright. So we gonna talk about Bologna. What exactly is Bologna? Bologna incident. I don't know what Bologna is. I hear that a lot. I still don't really know what it is. Mr. Doodle. Doodle? Mr. Doodle? What if I were more than just a doodle? A, a good question. Hey, I can play with Mr. Doodle. Hello, Mr. Other Doodle. Hello. Are you okay? Maybe not. Goodbye. Hi. What's wrong with your friend? He thought that he sought the truth and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please leave us alone. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me why your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death. But a round head like you will never like it, never make it. Yeah, you don't know that. I can always try. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I'd never. How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your weird shaped head? You have a point there, Mr. Square. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. I was... <sighs> Go bother someone else. Okay. How about your friend over here? Can I bother him? Hello, miss. 
Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. The great beast? Ever since her people were drawn without limbs. Oh, that's horrible. What sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you need to seek out the oracle beyond the death fields. Why is everybody sending me to the death fields? I feel like nobody likes me. Hello. Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you too, friend. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, don't pay me any mind. My temper rises with the sun. The great beast hasn't been seen for over a hundred years. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lives beyond death? Just take the letter down, it's always a letter down. Why is always a letter down? Why can I not have like a letter pointing up? It could be up. Oh my god, a lot of people were erased. Oh, that's the death field. Everybody's just erased by the mighty eraser. Hello, old rag that lives beyond the death fields. Hello? You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Oh my god, I'm back to Alan Wake. Ah, the nightmares. Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. I suppose so. Oh, okay. She's just repeating herself. All right. Yeah. Did the sun burn out? Oh, this is a very old play. What is that? Oh, this is the Oracle. Are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the Great Beast? Is the Great Beast the Eraser? It crawled through the Great Hole many years ago. It ravaged the six for decades, then was laid to rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to be dead, though we know better than that. What is that Great Hole? Eons ago, we created a great hole in the property fabric of this world. A hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? Is that a dictionary? What is the truth worth to you? Everything? Uh, everything! <laughs> okay. I got you, boy. Yes, we're going to go find the mighty eraser. The hole. The mighty hole. Oh no. Ah! Poor round face was destroyed. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal. Wake up. Oh, it's a lady. Oh. I have a voice of a lady. I don't know what I'm saying. Huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry. I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. <laughs> what are you angry about? I know, dear. You wasted as well. Very good. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of the class, okay? <laughs> sure, it won't happen again. Why are you angry at me, dude? And Mr. Phelps, size on your pen. On your paper. <laughs> Why are you pissed off, dude? Class is almost over. Make sure everyone's hands is in their test before leaving. Right. Why am I in school? Is that still the Bologna accident? Hey, freak! Nobody likes a goody two shoes, Sally face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch! I wasn't talking to you. You know, if you took that stick out of your ass, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. Fuck off! I have more friends than you ever have. You kiss your daddy with that tongue? 
I'm sure he. Oh my God! You asked for that, you know? What the hell, asshole? Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. They'll just make things worse. Trust me. I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. I can imagine probably the face. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, let's use the ba my bandana. Wait, hold on. I, I you can't. Uh, are we ever going to see his face? There. Looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. I think you most probably can see much more. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick? I'll kill him! Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's alright. Uh, Sal's right. If we steer the pot, he could just make things worse. Yeah, just leave the bullies. It's like fucking hell, bull the bullies. I think a good lesson for a bully is just another bigger bully, you know. Not if he's dead. <laughs> then you probably just have the school. <laughs> We'd be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. <laughs> Says the group skeptic. You, you know I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much, even for me. So we're really just gonna let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, think about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent up rage. There must be a reason. See, he's just too nice. Sally is just like so nice. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they switch blowing a sandwich date to tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously, I've never seen anyone love the creepy crappiest lunch date so much. It's like a prison meal. He doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. I, I know, Ash. I know. Who doesn't like pizza? Like, come on. Maybe he's an alien. <laughs> that will need. That's all we need. Yeah. Ghosts and aliens and all of that crap all together. God, at some point. Slary. I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. I heard that. <laughs> Nice. Do we end up killing him? The next day. Bologna day. Oh, not the Bologna day. Oh, fuck. Nothing comes good after the Bologna day. Knock fell high school. Oh, look, it's Chug and... Oh, my God. Uh... That was disgusting to look at. Does that bologna smell funny to you guys? I thought last week was a little off putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard it's made from goat meat. Then a bunch of kids call in sick the day after Bologna Day last week, too. Wow, well, hey, you guys, don't ruin lunch for me, please. It's the only good part of the day. Group huddle? I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Have fun. I'm going to stay here with Chug. Who are you, Mapo? I've never heard of you before. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with his Bologna. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef and it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you, dude, the shit's funky. Doesn't taste like no beef to me. Beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Uh, I hope not. Sal might be onto something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I like to take our sandwiches to the science lab. And see if I can find any bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd and help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the Bologna. Sounds like a plan. Alright, we have a plan. We stick to it. We search for the Bologna. Hell yeah, Mapo and Chug. 
Oh, hi, Larry. Hey, Maple. Aren't you going to eat your lunch? My mom made me peanut butter and jelly again. I'm just kind of tired of it, you know? Ah, well, I mean, if you're not gonna... Of course you can have it, Chuck. Heck yeah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fair enough for me. A bunch of kids here, more kids, Travis. I don't want to talk to Travis, but we can talk to Travis. I thought I smelled trash! What are you flammers up to? Get bed, Travis. Don't you have some sandwiches to attend to? You're lucky it's Bologna Day. What do you mean by that? Hey, lady, Kim. Kim, love of my life. Uh, hi, Kim. We wanted to ask about the Bologna. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why would you want to know about Bologna, huh? Something's wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no. We were just wondering where it... You kids go and sit back the chairs now. No more questions. Do you think you could just see the package or... No packages for you. Just butts and chairs. Go. Well, that was a failure. She always seems so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. I mean, I don't think she has any other opportunities anywhere else. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Ken is poisoning the lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory. Though, I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files? While you do that, I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Okay, guess I'm going to check on Todd. That's the hall, there's nothing here. Can I sneak on the kitchen? Nah, only hall, okay. Only hall. Oh, the boys' bathroom. Why can I come in here? Looks like a perfect place to uh, be bullied. It's locked. If I had a paper clip, I could get in. Are you telling me that I will look for a paper clip somewhere to try to... Oh, that's my locker. Advanced Mathematic. Just some of my textbook thought suggested I take physics this year and I'm actually enjoying it. The world we live in is fascinating and filled with mysteries. It is indeed pretty cool. I've had this backpack since I started going to school here. It's a little worn out around the edges. Alright. A picture of us from Halloween. It was so fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. I guess he is indeed lucky. Okay. And back to lockers. We usually use paper clips to open our lockers. It's faster and we don't have to memorize combos. If I had a paper clip, I could get into the other lockers. Okay. I guess I need to find a paper clip somewhere. Oh, that's the cafeteria. I don't want to go in there. There's a glass in there right now. I don't know what I just got inside. Oh my god. Oh, it's the math class. Alright, cool. Yeah, very, very interesting concept of the class. Ah, Parkinson classroom. Okay. As we continue, how to? Science lab. That's where I want to be. Hey, Todd! Oh, look, it's Einstein. So, what did you figure out? Find anything? Not yet. Were you able to get the Bologna ingredients? No, not yet. Where's Ash? She went to get some materials for me. I recommend she look into the janitor's closet. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. Okay, guys, I'm going after Ash. Even though we said that we're going to check on Todd. Ooh, sticky tack. I got something. Alright, I got sticky tack. Whatever that is. I got it. 202. It's a class. Courtyard. Oh, there she is. Hey, Ash. Hey, what's wrong? The damn closet is locked. I need something in there to test the Bologna. I tried to pick the lock like Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Hmm. Could use some pliers to get that out, but... Yeah, they would be in the closet or with the janitor, but he always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. 
Thanks. In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to get this out. Yeah, you do that, Ash. I'm going to figure things out. Maybe in the courtyard? Oh, there's a ball over there. And I was able to get it. Good for me. I have a ball. Can I combine things? Just a normal tennis ball. Just a sticky tack. Okay. I thought that I could combine them and make like a sticky ball or something. Alright, that's the hall window. The teachers are in there eating lunch. Okay. I can't see them. They must be hiding. Why would I want to interact with the birds? Alright, it doesn't matter. Let me go in here. How? Hall. Hall! Oh! Hi, Larry! Any luck? The teachers are all in the lunch. I'm waiting for the right moment to sneak by. Okay, guess I cannot go that way then. That's the courtyard. And here's the cafeteria again. Oh, here, there's a paper clip on the floor. I didn't even see it there. I was just walking around pressing space and then suddenly he went down. Okay, now that I have a paper clip, I think I can deal with the lockers. And hopefully I'll find pliers? Lockers. Ash locker, Toss locker. Why would I want to go into their lockers? Why not, I guess? Ash makes these stuffed dolls. I think they're cool. She calls them little dudes. Some of Ash's photo. One is an older picture of her and Larry. I'm so glad I met those two. And this? Ash's art supplies. Ash and Larry are such good artists. They try to teach me. But I'll never be as good as they are. It's okay. I have fun painting and drawing with them. And they never make me feel bad for not being good at, good at it. Okay. Nice. Oh, there's a camera. S Polaroid camera. She's always snapping pictures with it. This could come in handy. I'm sure she won't mind if I borrow it. Take it. Okay, others lockers. Todd. Oh my god, Todd. What are you doing here? Todd is never short of supplies for his inventions. I don't know how he does half of the things he does. The guy is a genius. This potato my light thingy was a science experiment that Todd showed in class. I'm surprised it's still going. It's impressive, actually. Todd and his boyfriend, Neil. They're always so happy when they're together. That makes me happy too. That's cute. What else does he has? Oh, oh, that, that, this. Not much of a surprise that Todd Locker is half filled with books. I really admire his passionate curiosity and hunger for knowledge. Okay, did I get anything else from his proper locket? Guess not. Let me go to Larry's locket. What is this happening? Okay, Larry seems to be very into weird stuff. <laughs> Larry's backpack. We've been through so much over the last two years. He's more than my best friend. He's family now. I don't know what I'll do without him. That's one of my paintings. I was gonna throw it out, but Larry insisted on keeping it. He said great art doesn't need to be beautiful as long as it conveys genuine emotion. And I feel the shit out of this, man. I really do. He, he seems to be a very nice, nice guy. I think that's an older drawing that Ash made. She actually taught Larry a lot of she actually taught Larry a lot of what he knows now. She's a great teacher. We may have never become close if it weren't for Larry. Nice. Larry's art stuff is so messy. In a way, I sort of admire that carefree mindset. Okay, do we have anything else from Larry? I guess not. Alright, we out of here then. We have other closets to check. Nope. Oh, or not. Oh, now he's talking about the sticky tack. Hey, maybe I could use the sticky tack to get that pin out. It's worth a shot. Fair enough. There you go. Awesome, it came out. And I was able to get the door unlocked too. I must have been close to getting it open with the pin. Alright, now that I've got what I need, time to head back to the old lab. Cool, I'll meet you up with... Meet you... I'll meet up with you and Todd in a little while. I have to figure out a way to get in the ingredients first. Oh, so I still need to find a way to get into the cafeteria to find the ingredients? Maybe if I make a loud enough noise. Throw! What was that? 
I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it was those damn birds again. That did not work. What if I throw the ball at the birds? Nope. Use? Oh, I need to take a picture of a bird if I find it? There! Cute! Oh, why my nose is itchy? Come on. Now, I have a photo of a bird. Can I put the photo of the bird in here? No. Uh, no. Oh, there was a distraction. Oh, okay. That was good enough. Uh, yeah, good thinking with that distraction, dude. I saw her file. Awesome. Anything to help us? Well, I had to book it. So I didn't get a good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I can... Just take the file. No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. Alright, you're the boss, Sally. So what should we do? Give me a minute. I'll think of something. Uh, about what? Think of something on what? Tell me again what I have to do. Oh! oh I already have whatever I need. Uh, here, use Ash's camera to take a picture of the files. Great thinking, dude. Really uh, ready when you are. Alright, so now I go outside, I throw the ball again, and then he should be able to take a picture of the file. Fantastic! Now I can uh, go back. I don't know why I have the picture of the bird though. So? Did you get it? Dude, the file is missing! What? How could that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing them. <laughs> Just jerking your chin, man. I got the picture. Oh, you butt nozzle. <laughs> Score! Let's take a look at it. Okay, there it is. I each my nose. All right, let's see. Teacher information file. Kim Wazi. Whatever place she leaves. Phone. The higher date position. Lunch lady. She has a gad. A mature nature photograph. Ah. Kim has elephantiasis. It is not contagious, and she is sensitive to it. Make sure the other teachers know. Tell Kim to stop feeding the birds in courtyard, or the teachers getting annoyed. I think I know what to do. I'll meet you back in the lab. You got it, dude. I I know what to do. What, what am I supposed to do? Get a lawyer from Kim. Okay. One on one. I can't believe Larry was able to get into the principal's office with all the teachers right next door. Right. There's the exit to the front door. I don't know if I want to... Do I want to go? I can't leave. We need to finish it. Okay. Well, I have the picture of the bird, so maybe I can exchange the picture for the Bologna ingredients. Hey, Kim. I got something for you. What this? A photograph? Of birdie? You take picture, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks for all the hard work you do. You're sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys the Bologna from? Why are you so interested in Bologna for? Oh, well, uh, my friends and I really like it and want to know where we can get some. It's local made by Mrs. Packerton. 100% beef. She brings from farm once a week. Here, I give you some extra meats for bringing Kim nice photograph. Thanks, Kim. Thank you so much. Oh, so sweet. I, uh, I don't want that, but thanks. I mean, I want that. I need to take that to Todd. But I don't want, like, want that, you know? Okay, science lab. I have everything that I need. For more Bologna. Perfect. Kim said that it's made by Mrs. Packerton. Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartment. How could she make her own lunch meats? Oh yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. I've probably seen her in the building twice since I moved here. She tends to return at late hours. I believe that she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. It shouldn't be. However, when Mrs. Parkerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask Parkerton about this odd side business of hers? 
Why are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? I don't know. What do you think, Sal? So? Let's do a little snooping before going to Parkinton. I don't like the way this is playing out. It's human meat. If something nefarious is going on, it'd be the best not to let Parkinton know that we're looking into it. Agreed. Good cow, Sally. Alright, why don't you and Larry go check out Mrs. Sparkleton's classroom while the teacher's on a break? Todd and I will finish testing this Bologna. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. Glad that this happened. Ugh. It's definitely human meat, man. She's just chopping people up and making Bologna and then just disappearing with the evidence by making everybody eat it. Larry, I need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. Yeah, be the lookout. Damn, she keeps her desk drum locked. Do you remember how to pick the lock like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we gonna get that thing open? Let me take a look at it. Oh, numbers. All right. Is it pie? Three, one, four, one. That was easy. Got it open. Nice wood, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and... Hold on. There's a hidden compartment. Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. What is it? Not sure. Okay. Yeah, that's creepy. Little jars filled with what looks like spices. Maybe for cooking? Is she a witch? Why does she have a bird school in here? That's kind of creepy. Crystals? They're actually kind of cool. I wonder what Parkinson uses this, this for. She's a witch. It's a bible. The book is really old, but there isn't anything special about it. A strange metal object similar to Jim's puzzle box. This could be important. Oh, I didn't see the paper thing, though. There's another one of those metal boxes, like the... Shit. Is it happening again? Yeah, I... Great. Fantastic. Um, eh, um, I don't know what it's saying. I don't think it's... Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't need anything lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But never mind. Let's go check with Todd and Ashley. Whatever those papers were, we'll never know. Because it did not let me look at it. Hey guys, if we found some sketchy things in Parkinson's desk, how are this test coming? We're not getting any signs of armoco chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there is something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chuck for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, that's just right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help out after that, though. Guess we're going to Mr. Sparkinson, uh building apartment. Possibly. I'll need a few minutes to get it ready. That's cool. I'll have to take care of something first anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. What are we getting ready for? Meet in 202. A strange metal object that I found in Mrs. Parkinson's desk. I'm not sure what it is, but it's similar to Jim's puzzle box. It must be important. Most probably it is important, but we're going to figure out why it is important on the next episode, because I'm going to stop this one right here. Sorry, it's getting too long and I don't want to make a too long video. So in either way, that's it for now. If you like it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play tons of other games besides this one. And as usual, hope you all have a happy ever after. And I'll see you on the next day. Bye-bye.